Hi there, welcome to Get Fit with Gosha. Today is day four of Fierce 30, your 30 day fitness challenge that will get you stronger, leaner, toned, and more confident in 30 days. Today we focus on leg strength. We also do some cardio intervals, just the short ones. For today's workout, you need a chair or a stepper because we're gonna be doing some step ups, stepping over. So make sure it's a sturdy chair. And when you do the step ups, please, I will remind you also later, put the chair against the wall so it does not move. Safety first. You also need an exercise mat. Beside that, grab your water, towel, good music, good attitude, and let's get this workout on a road. We're gonna start with a short warm up. All right, are you ready? March here on the spot. Abs in tight. Put a smile on your face. For the next 30 minutes, forget about everything that you have to do today and focus on yourself. And stay here, take a nice deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And now forward, bend forward at the waist as you breathe out. And up and out. Do it two more times. Warm up that lower back. One more time. And bring your hands up in front of the face. Knees up. Out to the sides. Now in the middle, pull. Warm up that body. Warm up all those muscles. Now across. Diagonal. That's it. Nice. Two more. And stay here. Hands up. Ten squats down and up. Not too deep yet. Have to really warm up all those leg muscles, all the joints, all the tendons and ligaments. And five more. Four. Three. Two. One more, hands on your waist, small lunges forward and back, alternating legs, don't go all the way down yet, warm up those legs. Today we're doing lots of squats, lots of lunges, lots of leg steps, it's going to be fun, fun, fun. And now take that lunge to the back, down and up, down and up, hands here on the waist or in front of the face, whatever makes you happy, two more, and now jump here in the spot, nice and light on those feet, and now twist it out, Grab your imaginary skip and row and skip. So we have five sets of five different exercises. Each set is very different. So you will not get bored. And all exercises are of a different length. We have not really kickboxing, but we have some kicks and knee strikes in there because you know that I love my kickboxing. Okay. We are starting. Exercise. Hands up. Blocks. Alternating sides. You're here for 30 seconds. Your workout has officially started. Focus on lifting those legs up as high as you can. Abs in tight. Pull it in. 30 seconds here. So first exercise will always be 30 seconds long for this workout. Three. Now you're going to continue with that knee strike, but now you're going to add a squat in between. So hands up. Sorry, not knee strike. Knee block. Hands up. Squat low. And knee up. Down. Up. As you come up, you lift the knee up as high as you can. Point the toe down. Down. Up. Elbows in. You can point your toes out a bit to the side here if you want to. That way you get the inner thigh involved. That's it, nice. 
Try to go low. When you come up, do not lock that knee joint. Keep your knee slightly bent. And yes, this exercise will get your heart rate going because you're working all the large muscle groups. You're here for one minute, I believe. No, 45 seconds. Yes. 45 seconds. Or maybe one minute. Three. All right. Next exercise is your cardio interval. Try to go fast. It's only 30 seconds. Only really one high intensity cardio interval. Go. Like a 
Low impact cardio. Go, go, three, go, go. Time. Now squat and alternate snap kick. Hands up here. Ready. Point your toes out a bit. Down, kick. Down, kick. Down, kick. If you want to get the heart rate up higher, go faster. If you want to work on your strength, control the movements. Don't have to go so fast. Focus on going low. Keep going. And kick. Give me side view here. Twenty seconds. Ten more. Come on. Keep going. You're doing awesome. Three, two, one. Rest. And time. All right. Now we're gonna do power lunges for thirty seconds. That's your cardio interval. Three, one in front of the other. One. Hands on your waist. Or move in the arms. Go. Dropping the back knee down as low as you can. If you have knee problem, do shuffles. Keep going. 15 seconds. Go ahead, pause the video, come right back. 
We're going into set number three. We're going to start with some knee strikes. And we don't need a chair for this set. So put it away. Out of the way. Okay, starting with knee strikes. Hands up. Exercise. Go. Push. Bring your hands to the side of the hip. Pull. Pull. Again, this is a short interval, so try to go fast. Jump a little bit if you feel like it. Why not? Okay, hands up. Squat, knee strike. One minute. Hands up. Ready. Go. Down. Strike. Down. Push. When you do your knee strike, point the toe down towards the ground. I hope you have some good music on that keeps you motivated. Again, I don't use, mu use music in my videos, so you can hear me, you can focus on what I'm saying. But I'm considering getting a microphone and adding music to some of the videos, especially the cardio kickboxing ones. It's more fun with the music, that's for sure. Get down low. Almost there. Time. Okay, now we're turning ourselves 180 degrees. So start facing to one side. Turn your body. Stay in a squat position. Go. When you land, get down to the squat. Three, two. Not done yet. Exercise. 15 seconds. Down, or at least part of the foot is down. 
when you start to turn the foot you can get down lower but you can pull a muscle there so be careful safety first tip of the day one of the tips the main tip is coming at the end of your video so you have to finish this whole video to get to the tip of the day it's gonna be juicy and time. Awesome work. Two more sets to go. Woohoo! Grab some water if you like. You can take a longer break. Come right back. Okay. Next exercise. Alternating push kicks. I'll go sideways so you can see it better. Hands are up. You did those yesterday. Okay. Ready, push, push. So it's like you want to push somebody out of the way with the ball of your foot. And to make it more powerful, you use your core muscles and your hip muscles to push, push. Now we're going to add a squat to it, so hands are up, woo, Three, two, are you ready, let's go, down, push kick, down, push, down, lots of squatting today, I told you, but that's okay, because tomorrow we don't do any upper, I mean lower body stuff, tomorrow is all upper body strength. So even if your muscles are sore tomorrow, you can still work out because it's a totally different workout. Elbows in. And I forgot to tell you, you will need the chair for the next exercise, but hopefully you have it handy now. So just grab it quickly. And time. And now we are doing hit the floor. Follow me. Legs up wide. Side to side. If this is too much, just do more like a power skater. But if you can, get all the way down. Looking up, ahead a little bit, not straight down. Almost there. Two, one, rest. Okay, now grab your chair. Woo! Okay, curtsy squats. Three, two. So standing on leg, close to the chair. Left. Leg behind, down, come up. If you want to go deeper, go all the way down, come up, down, and up. 45 seconds per side. Okay, as you're going down, make sure that your knee remains over your ankle so you're not swaying it side to side or forward and back. Everything's aligned. Three, two, one. Changing sides. Okay, grab your, your balance. Down. And reach up. Woo! Feeling the burn. Try to bend that knee that he's standing on as low as possible. Almost there, keep going. Two, one. Time. Rest. All right, chair is in front of you. You are on the side of the chair. You must step over 
and come back. Try not to touch the chair. So you step up, over, up and over. So you're working your inner and outer thigh here. If you have a white chair, you're gonna work really hard. If you have a skinny chair, lift your leg up higher. Mine is a bit wide at the back, I mean at the front. You can hold on to if you don't feel stable, that's okay. Okay, you can hold on in between. Keep your balance. As you pick up that leg, squeeze the core. So even though we're not working on the core, core is always involved in everything that we do. Awesome work. Okay, put the chair away. Yes, we don't need this anymore. We are done with the chair. We have one more set left. We're gonna do some side kicks. Side kicks are, don't really use them too much, but for the sake of this routine, I want you to use the outer thigh, so we're going to do some side kicks. Hands are up, alternating sides. Side, side. You can keep your hands up here, or you can swing the hand back as you kick. And you put your foot diagonally. So you can kick, and you can turn your hips. Okay, squat and side kick. Hands up. Three, two, one. You're doing awesome. Exercise two. Okay, let's go. Down, kick, down, side kick. Does not have to be a high one. And down. You can also do it on the stepper, so you're a bit lower. 
or stairs. So if you have any stairs handy, because this is quite high. That's okay. We're gonna challenge the body.
And you're finished for today. Awesome work, my friend. Thank you for working out with me. So the tip of the day is take a piece of paper and write down your goals or at least one goal. Why are you doing this challenge? What motivated you to join this challenge? What do you want to achieve? Once you have that written down, put it somewhere visible. Put it on the mirror, bath, on the mirror in your bathroom or on your fridge. Every time you go to the bathroom or to the kitchen, you see your goals. It's always there with you. So if you want to, if you feel like you want to miss a workout, your goals are there. You know why you're doing it. All right? Writing your goals down is very, very helpful. Do it. Share your goals with us too. Why are you doing this challenge? What do you want to accomplish? And I will see you tomorrow, day five. And tomorrow, like I said, we're doing upper body strength. Have a good day. Adios. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Go Check Out No Fitness and like her videos.